Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 215. Welcome. Okay, so I have uh, about three finished objects to show you and only two works in progress to show you. So let's get started and I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so the first, well, first and second finished object, they're both preemie hats. I needed to do two more preemie hats for the month of July. So I made it. <laughs> Today is July, let me check here on my watch, Seven it's 7.29. So the July the 29th, okay? <laughs> and so I made it. <laughs> um, this is preemie hat number three and four for the month. Um, I am doing four, I'm making four preemie hats per month up until October. And so then I will have 40 preemie hats to donate to one of the area uh, the local area hospitals they're in their NICU department for a Halloween hat drive and so here is um, the first one let's see the first one I made since the last time I showed you <laughs> is a minion hat <laughs> it turned out pretty cute um, I did put purple for the pupil I don't know if you can see it so, so yeah there you go see the purple <laughs> um, Anyway, this is a pattern by Butterflies Crafts Creations dot dot com. I think that's what it is, <laughs> and I will link it below in the description box. Okay, so that is um, number three for the month of July, and then number four for the month of July. Now, this is a combination of two patterns. This is a little bird hat. So there's my little bird hat. <laughs> now, this is uh, I made the beanie because actually this. The pattern, the the original pattern, I guess, is from uh, Sarah Zimmerman, which is repeat calf, repeat crafter me. But it is she used uh, chunky yarn. I think it's called the chunky little bird hat or something. <laughs> And so uh, I did not have the chunky yarn. I wanted to use this uh, DK weight yarn that I have. This is I love this D. I love this yarn uh, DK or something. <laughs> anyway, so um, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> anyway, so I used the beanie pattern for from the minion hat. <laughs> rattled something over there okay so I used the beanie pattern from the minion hat I just didn't change colors okay so that's what I used for the beanie part and then um, I uh, went over to Sarah's uh, pattern for the little chick I think it's a little chick yeah <laughs> um, to get the the stitch count and stuff for the eyes and for the uh, beak. My beak uh, turned out kind of oblong and so I had to kind of do some little tweaking on the end of the beak to make it uh, pointed <laughs> but I think it turned out pretty good and those right there not ears so after I made it I thought oh it looks like a little man <laughs> with a little bald-headed man <laughs> with ears see but that's not ears those are the wings so Oh, well, <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> so this is preemie hat number four. Okay. And the only other thing, the other finished object that I was going to show you, I, ha I have to show you a picture of it because um, I made this as a birthday gift and I shipped it off to the birthday recipient, which was Tara Lynn. Uh, she... Um, is always so sweet and has sent me multiple packages and uh, she also even sent a baby shower in a box that she made for my grandbaby it was so sweet and the box had all kinds of goodies in it and so of course I wanted to send her a box or package for her birthday and so uh, she and I both like Wizard of Oz and so when I saw this pattern I just had to make it so this is a pattern for the scarecrow from Wizard of Oz I found the pattern on uh, madhooker.com I think and so, um, like I said, I already sent it to her, but I wanted to make sure she got it before I showed it to you all. And so here is a picture of the scarecrow that I made. Isn't that cute? <laughs> uh, I just thought the pattern was so cute and it was real easy to put together. Um, didn't have any issues with it. It was a very good design. And so um, I will link below in the description box where you can find that pattern for the scarecrow. She also has a pattern for one of the flying monkeys <laughs> and the um, 
lion, the cowardly lion, uh, Dorothy. Uh, she does not have a pattern for the tin man, but she refers you to a pattern for a tin man. And I did actually make that tin man about a year or two ago. Uh, and that pattern was from Sharon Oyala. And so uh, let me, I'll go ahead and I'll, I think I've got a picture of the tin man. So let me pop it in right there and you can see the tin man that I made. Okay, so that's the Tin Man. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. And so, the, yeah, there's Dorothy, there's there's the Cowardly Lion, the Scarecrow, and then that link for the Tin Man. And then um, the Wicked Witch and the Flying Monkey. I think the set that she has. And um, anyway, check them out. I think her patterns are great. Okay, and then that is all my works. No, that is all my finished objects. <laughs> Let's move on to works in progress. Okay, so the first works in progress I want to show you is the Fun in the Sun doll. And this is a crochet along that Valerie of Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet has been hosting. And I've had such a fun time. She's made a video each day. And I will link uh, the intro video, I guess, where it talks about the materials needed. Um... I'll link that one in the description box below so you can go over uh, uh, we're about half I don't know we might be over halfway through with it now but I mean the videos will always be on there so feel free to um, uh, watch them and, and, and join along even though you're behind right now from where we're at <laughs> but anyway let me show you now this is a pattern by Yarnspirations um, I will pop in a picture right here of the fun in the sun doll so you can see the the picture of the pat the picture of the doll that's in the pattern okay so here's that <laughs> Okay, so let me show you. Now, she's all in pieces because we haven't put her together yet, but I'll show you my progress on, on what I've done so far. Okay, so here's her body. Okay, so here's her body. <laughs> okay, and I have, um, I've got her legs done, and she even has little, like, uh, Mary Jane sandals. I don't know if you can see the sandals, see the little strap. Um, so she's got these Mary Jane sandals and this of course will be attached to the body uh, now the flesh tone that I'm using is uh, Vanna's Choice in the colorway Fisherman I believe it's Lime Brand okay uh, I really like to use Fisherman if I need uh, a lighter skin color okay and then so I use that and then for the shoes now the reason I picked this for the shoes let me show you this is the color that I'm going to be using this variegated for the dress for her dress okay and so this color is a big value big twist value yarn in the colorway nursery nursery rhyme <laughs> and it's got all these colors in it okay and so I picked this this green for her shoes because there is a green in here that I think matches with those shoes so I think that's gonna look good and so this color I think that was a, I saw a hair on there sorry <laughs> uh, this color is um, something I got from Dollar Tree some of the Dollar Tree yarn it's the just yarn worsted okay from Premier and it is uh, four weight um, like I said, it was a dollar. Uh, it is 131 yards, uh, 2.11 ounces, 100% acrylic, and this is called sea glass. But anyway, I thought it would, it matches with the green that's in this uh, variegated right here, and so I used that for her uh, shoes. Okay, <laughs> her little slippers, and then of course I do have her arms. Okay. And uh, her outfit is a sleeveless, a uh, little sleeveless dress with straps, I think, like spaghetti straps. I think that's what that is. I have to look at it again, <laughs> but I think so. So I did not have to put any uh, shirt color on the top of the uh, arms, okay? Uh, so she's all in pieces. And now let me show her the head because yesterday we did, we completed the hair. And so I think she's going to be really cute. So here is my head, the head to the doll that I'm working on. I have never made a blonde haired doll before, I don't think. Actually, this is only the second doll that I've made. I made one like a rag doll type thing and she had brown hair, a darker brown. And so this I think is actually the second doll. Oh, except no, I made a loom knit doll. It's up there on the shelf uh, that had hair. 
Yeah. So this is the third doll that's got hair that I made, I think. Except for, you know, the little, the little, um, oh, like in the nativity set and, and the little miniature ones, you know. But besides that, uh, the bigger size dolls, I think this is the third one I guess I've made. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I think it's cute. She's got green eyes. <laughs> and, um, and this, this color, now this color is, um, I almost used all of it. So I don't, uh, it's in fact, I didn't bring it in here, but I picked it because there is a color of a yellow, kind of a yellow. Yeah. There's a yellow color in here that I think kind of harmonizes with this because I wanted, you know, since this is going to be the dress, I wanted to pick the hair color you know, that kind of would go with the dress and then her shoes would kind of go with, would go with the dress, you know, so that's, that's my thoughts on it. <laughs> now, I gave her two ponytails, okay, and see, I haven't trimmed them yet, and there's actually, these are loops, and I have not cut the loops either yet, and now I will, but I want to wait until I get her head put on her body <laughs> before I, um, start trimming on the hair, you know, to see where I want the hair to end at and all that stuff. So I just attached the ponytails, but I did not trim the loops yet. Anyway, I'm having such a fun time. Thank you, Val, um, to, for hosting this with, uh, for us. I think she, she, you're doing a great job with the crochet along and I'm having a great time with it. Okay, and then the only other works in progress I'll show you is, that I've been working on that I can show you, is the Toucan Tote. And, of course, I still haven't done a whole lot on it. Um, so, here is the panel. I haven't done anything to it. I'm just, I don't know. I've, I've been really extra busy, so I just haven't worked on it. But, I mean, I have, but I've been working on, this is what I've been working on. It is the Gusset. Um... I think I was about, well, here's the marker that shows you the measurement, because this is like one side of the, this is going to be the side, the bottom, and the other side, you know, that's going to go um, to give the bag depth, okay, um, haven't made the back panel yet either, uh, but anyway, so I've got this long piece that I've been working on, and this is taking forever, it seems like, uh, you know, it's just single crochet back and forth and back and forth, and I've still not... It's still not there yet. Um, let me see. If I put the marker down at the bottom, then that would like be the equivalent of two sides. And as you can see, this side is not quite meeting this one yet. So I haven't got there yet. I'm working at it, but but it's it's kind of slow. But it's it's getting there. But I'm almost running out of this. This is Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Spring Green. And um, I went to um, Joann's the other day looking for this. And they did not have the Spring spring Green. So um, I will have to look at... Hopefully they have it at Walmart. But I didn't go to Walmart today. So, But I'm going to need more of it because I'll finish that gusset. But then there will be green on the some of the back panel because I'm going to do the back panel striped um, I'm going to pick out the all the there's eight colors total in all this project and so I'm going to use all eight of those colors and do a striped pattern for the back panel and so uh, I need to get some more spring green <laughs> and I will probably buy two at least two of them to have that on hand um, and so that is my second uh, works in progress and in all yeah all the works in progress uh, I can show you. Um, so let's go on to upcoming. Okay, so upcoming, um, this Sunday Mar is will be August the 1st, and so I'm going to try to do Vlogist. Um, and so that's another thing I've been working on, is I've been working on items that I'm going to be showing during Vlogist. And so I've been trying to get some uh, made ahead of time so that way it won't be as stressful trying to get the, each one done for each day um, so anyway I've been working on that that's the background work <laughs> and um, so but like I said I'm, I'm still trying to work out uh, what I'm going to do for vlogist I know I'm going to one thing I'm going to be doing <laughs> and and then the rest I'm not sure yet but there'll be short little videos and then of course this will be a video each day in the month of August so I'm excited I haven't done vlogist before I've done vlogtober and vlogmas <laughs> but I've never done vlogist and I've never done veda vita veda ve video every day and 
April. <laughs> so anyway, I think it's going to be fun. Um, so that is upcoming. Starts Sunday. <laughs> and then also, I just got finished making a carousel video. Now, I am uh, I was asked to be in a carousel uh, for a Christmas ornament a swap carousel okay and so uh, I just did my video for that showing what I kept out of the box and just saying that the box would be going on to the next person so uh, check that video out I think I probably won't post it until tomorrow and, and then it'll come out but I just finished recording it a while ago <laughs> okay and then what else um, it's getting to be a new month, so of course that means more preemie hats. Um, oh, and something exciting is if you follow Valerie of Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet, okay? If you follow her, and I hope you do, you should. So go over, and I'll link her channel below. Go over and subscribe to her. But anyway, <laughs> if you've been following her, you know that she makes dolls that, that is for an organization called the Feel Better Friend Dolls. I think that's what it is. Feel Better Friends Dolls. Anyway, what it is is dolls that are made um, for uh, custom, custom dolls that are made for children that are uh, ill, they have um, some. You know, they they either have cancer or they've had uh, you know heart surgery or heart condition. They may have diabetes. You know, um, just whatever type of childhood or illnesses. You know, something. You know that they have medical treatments and are in hospitals and you know scary time for a little child. And so this organization makes dolls and sends. Send, well, the, I think, I guess the parents or somebody finds out about that organization and then somebody writes in and requests a doll to be made for that particular child and gives information about the child, a picture, I guess, because then the volunteers, the volunteer crafters will make a doll that looks like that child, like the same color hair and the same color eyes. And if the child has, uh, say, the child had heart surgery, and so the doll would have a scar on, on the doll, just like the scar that would be on the child. So that way the child would feel like this is this little buddy that's going to go along with them and they're having to have the treatments as well you know I think it's such a cool thing and I've been thinking about it for quite a while I just think it's be such a great thing to be part of and so I decided to go ahead and apply to be a volunteer and so one of the uh, applied to be one of the crafters <laughs> and so what um, what you have to do is you have to make a doll okay like a practice doll and the doll is supposed to resemble somebody that you know doesn't have have to be a sick child just somebody you know in your family whatever um, and then you post a picture to their Facebook group uh, of the child and the doll so that way the the administrators or whatever can see your skills you know and and so anyway so that's what I need to do is I need a, to do a practice doll and so I contacted my niece who has a little girl that's going to be three in October and so so she would be my great niece and so I'm going to attempt <laughs> to make a doll that looks like her and so um, and she thought that was great I, I did say you know that I would have to post a picture on her of the little girl on the Facebook group uh, so they can compare the picture with the doll or you know like that and then when I'm finished then I will give her the doll for her birthday which is going to be in October and so she said oh that she would love that and so I'm very excited to be able to do that so um, stay tuned <laughs> and I think it's going to be fun and very uh, rewarding I, I, I think it's a good cause so anyway so that's exciting and upcoming oh and one more upcoming <laughs> now this is like early in the works okay but um, I think I'm going to be uh, try I'm going to do another collab in the future um, and working with uh, I asked um, uh, Rebecca of Yarn and Pajamas. Uh, we were talking and she had mentioned something in one of her videos and then I sent her a message and I said, oh, let's do you want to do a co collabs in some way with what she was talking about? And she said, oh yes, I'd love to do a collab with you. So, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna, she and I will put our heads together <laughs> and, um, 
see what the collab is going to be about. But anyway, it'll be in the future, and I think it's going to be fun. So anyway, lots of stuff going on. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, and uh, stay tuned for that carousel video coming out tomorrow. And then please join me on Sunday, August the 1st, for Vlogmas. <laughs> no, not Vlogmas. See, I said Vlogmas. Uh, for Vlogist. There you go. <laughs> so please come over and join me for that and, and travel through the month of August with me. Okay, I'm going to go, guys. So we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>